Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is April 23rd and right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. Got California to the right of the screen here, but pay attention to what's going on across the Gulf of Alaska because this is our next weather maker. This thing has been trending a bit further south towards the state of California. It's going to bring some higher elevation snowfall, some thunderstorm potential, maybe even a little bit of light rain down towards Southern California. We'll dive into those details as we go through the video here this morning. So taking a look at where we are, this morning. You can see that marine layer pretty well established across a lot of the coastline for much of the state, including San Diego, Los Angeles, and the Bay Area. There are some areas that look like they're somewhat clear there, but yeah, you can see a pretty persistent marine layer and some mid and high level clouds streaming across the area. Bit of a trough here. Probably going to kick off a couple thunderstorms here today again as well. Show you some of that here in a moment. Speaking of thunderstorms, we did have a few lightning strikes here up just to the north of the Sacramento Valley there. Looks like it was just on the higher terrain there, but no lightning strikes elsewhere across the state of California or Nevada, Arizona, or Utah for that matter. And if you want a nice affordable home weather station with its own lightning detection system with it, check it out. It's all solar powered. Click on the link down below to save 10% off. It helps support the channel as well. And if you want to help support the channel uh, using other methods. Uh, the Patreon page is a good one. And you can, there's a community, a chat area there as well that I check in with once in a while and we can get some chat going back and forth. I hope to create a Discord channel at some point as well. So now let's take a look at what is to come here because things are going to get uh, fairly active here for the state of California as we go towards the end of the week. So here we're scrolling on in through the day today. You can see the trough forming out over the coastline. This storm system developing pretty close to the coastal regions there. And you can kind of see that setting up quite nicely right off the central California coastline. And this is going to bring the active weather here over the next few days. And as we scroll off in towards Sunday morning, you can see that upper level low is still right over Nevada and portions of California before the next ridge tries to build in here. And then it keeps sliding off to the east as we go on in through the early portion of next week. So yes. Some fun stuff coming up here for weather watch lovers taking a uh, or weather watching lovers taking a look here at the European ensemble mean. So this has 50 different members. So we have initial conditions that what we think the atmosphere is doing. Then we tweak those initial conditions 50 times with those ensemble members, and we let those ensemble members run out. So it gives us all kinds of scenarios on what could possibly happen and it tries to correct for some of our errors in our misunderstandings in the initial conditions of the atmosphere. So if we put that into motion, this is the mean of all those 50 members. So you can see we have some really good confidence that this storm is arriving here. The impacts for individual areas, of course, are much less certain at this point. But as you can see, the storm is on its way as we go through this weekend and then it moves off to the east. If we look at the GFS ensemble mean, the GFS says 30 of those ensemble members and we'll put that into motion here and this is the mean and you can clearly see we have really good model agreement on the storm's arrival as we go on in through uh, Thursday night on in through the day Friday Saturday and then Sunday so if we take a look here at thunderstorm potential for the day today they finally started including some of Northern California here on the day was well, actually let me back up there there's day one there for Northeast California and if we go to day two it was back into Northeast California you have to just trust me on that one but if we look at Sacramento you can see they are calling attention to these thunderstorms and you know some of the impacts brief uh, gusty winds, brief heavy rain, small hail, and lightning. And uh, this is going to go on through the weekend here as well. Of course, the arrival of that storm system after just today and Thursday, there could be some uh, thunderstorms today and Thursday as well. So unsettled weather continues into the weekend here. And again, some upper elevation snowfall could be some slick conditions, some road closures and whatnot, and maybe some uh, chain controls out there and yeah so you got to be uh, heads up for this as you go through this week and not the best time to be traveling across the higher terrain if you can avoid it five-day outlook this is a national weather service reno and it does cover some portions of california but you can see as we go on in towards the end of the week temperatures dropping off winds will be picking up and the clouds are going to be streaming in so also national weather service talking about the pattern change ahead as we go on in towards this weekend cooling things down across much of the area same thing for phoenix national weather service service which does cover some portions of california also you can see the temperatures dropping off here as we go towards the weekend really dropping it down by you know pretty noticeable 15 degree drop there for el central for example between today wednesday and saturday 77 degrees 
uh, 91 today. So if we look at the European, this is a six hour precipitation. And you got these uh, isovars here. This is a mean sea level pressure. So if we put this into motion, and you'll see as we go through the afternoon hours today, you can kind of see some of that thunderstorm potential there for Northern California. We scroll on in towards Thursday, and you'll start to see this bit of a band of precipitation occurring there. This is uh, the negatively tilted portion of this storm system there. This is probably going to be producing lightning as we go through Thursday afternoon on in through Thursday evening and Thursday night. You can kind of see these showers blossoming across some of the Sierra Nevada as we go through Friday morning. Low pressure system is kind of setting up off the coastline here. It's going to be spinning right off our coastal waters by the time we get towards Friday night and on into Saturday morning. Some higher elevation snowfall and by the time on the day of Saturday, it looks like probably Saturday afternoon, some of that precipitation tries to get down towards Los Angeles and San Diego. It doesn't show too much of it here. Main impacts are going to be north across some of the valley areas and some of the higher terrain with that snowfall and that thunderstorm activity. But you can kind of see the spin in the atmosphere all the way on in through the day Sunday. And that pushes off as we go on in through the day Monday before we warm back up, probably as we go through next week. So the GFS, let's take a quick look at that as well. And you can see the spin in the atmosphere here. Pretty good model agreement. Brings uh, maybe a little bit better amount across some of Point Conception down towards Santa Barbara and Ventura County there as we go through the morning of Saturday. But yeah, you can see pretty good model agreement between the European and the GFS on this weekend's upcoming system. So if we look at two meter temperature anomalies, so you can kind of see the coastal areas a bit cooler than the interior here as we go through the next couple of days. But watch what happens. And we're going to scroll all the way out towards Saturday here and look at some of these temperatures really fall off a cliff here as we go on in towards the day Saturday. Uh, much of California, virtually in the entire state and big portions of Nevada and portions of western Arizona as well below normal. And then you see as we go through Sunday, something similar there also. Again, when you get into these blues, greens, and purples, uh, that is a temperature anomaly well below normal here with this system as we go through this upcoming weekend. So heads up for that, especially across, again, the higher terrain. You know, there's campers and people out in the backcountry and hikers and whatnot. So be aware of that. The system is fairly chilly here, as you can see. And then we scroll off in towards next week, and we'll start to bounce those temperatures back. So total precipitation in inches. Let's look at the GFS. And you can see some of this thunderstorm activity today, again, uh, just north of the Sacramento Valley, maybe across the Cascades here and off across Northeast California. And then we'll go off in towards Thursday. Let's see what it shows for Thursday afternoon. It does show that band starting up here across some of the Klamath Range up in towards Southwest Oregon, probably lightning occurring with that. And let me back that up again here. And this probably starts as we go on into the afternoon hours on the day Thursday and goes through Thursday evening. And then you can kind of see this picking up across the Sierra Nevada, portions of Nevada, and then the upper level low gets a bit closer here as we go through the day Saturday. Maybe some thunderstorm activity associated with this into the San Joaquin Valley, maybe some of the coastal areas there also. And you can kind of see it's going to be hit and miss. Some areas are definitely going to be getting more precipitation than others up and down the coastal areas and the higher terrain. And then we'll scroll off into the future. And the GFS continues to show some troughing through the extended forecast. We're looking at fantasy land right now, but you can see the precipitation still kind of piling up there a little bit as we go through the early portion of May. Take that with a grain of salt. That's looking way too far off into the forecast, especially looking at the GFS. So artificial intelligence, European model. So check this out. It does show, you know, what, about a sixth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch of rain for some of the coastal regions here across Southern California. And and again, the resolution on this model is not that good. So there's going to be kind of hit and miss nature of this. And some areas are going to get more and some areas are going to get less as this weekend system passes through. And we'll look off into the extended forecast and see if it throws any more precipitation our way. Not too much. So there is some disagreement with the GFS on the extended forecast there. Now, this is probability of snowfall greater than or equal to one inch. This is the European Ensemble uh, this is the mean here. So it's basically taking uh, the percentile of all 50 ensemble members and saying, are we going to get an inch of snowfall? So as you scroll in through this weekend, you can see that the Sierra Nevada is kind of bullseye here, greater than 90%. So really good odds there. But it does bring the potential for some light snowfall amounts all the way down towards the transverse range here as well. So yeah, there is that. And that's the snowfall map probability of one inch or greater of snowfall occurring. Now, daily two meter max temperature. This is today, Wednesday, April 23rd. Put that into motion there for Thursday. That got we cool things down Friday, Saturday, only getting up into the 60s for the valley areas. Southern California only making it into the 60s as well. The deserts have cooled off by this point also. Sunday, another fairly chilly day, but temperatures bouncing back just a hair. But then we go through Monday, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, and we really bounce these temperatures back and see the upper 80s returning all the way back up across the Sacramento Valley. Death Valley getting up towards 100 degrees and the desert's warming back up as well. And also looking at statewide snowpack, this is updated yesterday. We're at 75% here, but maybe this storm system will bring some additional mounts and help us out there. Maybe it'll pause that a rapid decline that we tend to go through at this time of year and it's even been exacerbated here over the month of april and you know, we're really reducing that snow water equivalent there across the higher terrain here's the six to ten day though as we go through the end of april on in through may you can see the above normal signal here from much of the west coast below normal signal there for some of california and this is april april 1st through april 22nd this is the temperature anomaly so you can see kind of a mixed bag here for some of california some of the coastal areas of southern california and some of the higher terrain have been below normal but the majority of the state has been above normal as as much of the the west coast as well so anyway yeah we'll break this storm system down the high resolution models will be coming into range here over the next day or two as well so we'll start to get some additional information and we'll be able to start to try to pinpoint some more detail of this storm system rolling in here so anyway hope you guys are having a good day otherwise click like and subscribe we'll do this all again tomorrow and i will talk to you guys then